Everybody hates me, and that's, that's fair, because this is already off to a ridiculous start. Hi, YouTube friends. I know it's been a ridiculously, I think it's been two years since the last video I made, and I think it was the Holy Grail, and then like a good year and a half before that, I was like, what would you guys like to see me make? And then I didn't do those things. Frankly, it's, it, there's a lot of different reasons why I don't do anything, none of which are interesting, so. I got married. There, look at him, he's so cute. So yeah, in June, went to India, got married to this guy who's Indian. That's why we got married in India. <laughs> All right, I'll leave you alone. I will show you my craft room complete with many cats. So we have five cats because of course we do. Oh no, stop. That's why we can't have nice things. Okay, so we're in the basement. We're heading to my craft room. Our roommate lives down here. He has two cats and my husband and I have three. It's very fun. A nightmare. Don't come in here and eat things. Here's my wedding sari. This is what I wore when I got married. I wanna say that I'll actually do crafts like I used to. Like I'll actually make things, especially Sailor Moon things because I love Sailor Moon. I'm also really into Attack on Titan. Not as much as my nieces are. I don't think anybody is as much as they are. You can't stay in here because you eat things that you're not supposed to eat. Come on, you butt. Oh my goodness. Come on. You're a good boy. Thank you. Frankly, I feel like Moon Prism. That's, that's what it started out as in 2002. I loved Sailor Moon, wanted a tiara of my very own, and nobody sold them. So at Hobby Lobby, I got some metal and I made my own tiara and I listed them on eBay and, and that's, that's how it all started. That's how Moon Prism started. A lot has changed since then. That was 2002. That was literally 21 years ago. My cosplay stuff is old enough to drink now. So why don't I do anything anymore? Well, there's a lot of different reasons, and the main one is the passion's just not there anymore. It used to be like every single thing I saw, I thought I could make that. Other people would love to see me make this. And now, frankly, I can't compete. I want to say it was about 2012, you started seeing a lot more crafters, cosplay crafters, coming into their own with new materials that I had never used, and I'm one of those people don't be like me, who if I'm not really good at something immediately, I don't want to do it. It was out of the realm of my skill set, and it's my own fault that I didn't take it upon myself to get the education, to get the skills, to be good enough to compete with people who are now just amazing cosplay replica artists. Of course, there are some out there who, are, who aren't who are necessarily replica artists as they are bootleggers. What's the difference? The difference is you would buy something official, say from Bandai, then you would make a mold of it and then do a resin cast or you know, whatever kind of cast that you do and then say, I replicated this. It's not really the same. There's a lot of other legality issues as well because can you necessarily say that that's fan art? Not real. So there's a lot of issues. I have talked to, to lawyers about that because uh, back in 2013, and this is also a reason like I kind of disappeared, I, I kind of got in bed, if you will, with a bootlegger who was going around telling people that he worked for Warner Brothers, sent me this contract, and I ended up talking to Warner Brothers legal department and made sure I was totally in the clear if something was to happen. But they did tell me you need to cut ties with this person because if we do decide to take any kind of action because clearly he's misrepresenting himself, then I needed to, to be clear of, of that blowback. And I don't think anything ever did come of it, but it was something that I needed to be away from. Frankly, I just don't have skin thick enough for YouTube these days. Back when I started my, my first channel, which I want to say it was the beginning of 05, or the end of 05, when YouTube started, I was 22 years old. It, it was just a different place. YouTube was a very different place until it got into later years. And I remember seeing a comment about my looks on, it was actually Muku Charms channel. 
And I'll, I give her props because she stood up for me. But somebody had commented, and she's an incredible artist. And somebody had commented saying, your work is amazing and you're way better looking than Studio Mallory. And that broke my heart. I was like, it just made me feel bad. <laughs> and and they, they got more specific. They, they said something about my weight. And I, and I yeah, I had, I was overweight. But it, it hurt my feelings. And she stood up for me. She was like, that was really uncalled for. You can definitely say something nice about someone without saying something bad about somebody else. And she's absolutely right. I was I was glad she said that. But I just didn't have the skin thick enough for YouTube anymore. It was getting very competitive and kind of mean-spirited. I was just way too sensitive. Just my skill set was just not as good. And so I, I just took myself out of the equation. And there was a lot of other stuff going on as well. But, you know, I'm 39 now. I'm going to be 40 this year. I'm a stomach cancer survivor. I'm actually going to go to the March on Ca Capitol Hill, um, March 8th, for stomach cancer survivors and funding to research stomach cancer. Bought a house. I'm sitting in it, so that's exciting. My life is so different than it was. Like, if you go back and watch my earlier videos where I'm in a farmhouse with seven actually i think at one point we had 11 to 13 cats because we we had our own little uh, rescue it was it was good it was good i still have two of those cats from the rescue here's my stormy cat she's lived with me since 2011 and this is biscuit she's been with me since 2012 yes 2012 he's a sweet baby and this is Orion. We've had him for two months and he's a year old. Would you two be nice, please? Thank you. But yeah, that's really the only update I wanted to give. The update is that there's no update, I guess. Once I have my craft disaster under control, I do intend to start making things that I said that I would make a couple years ago, but it just doesn't have the urgency or the passion that it used to have. But I do appreciate those of you who stick around and comment and, and I apologize for basically just being a ghost that floats in once every few years and is like, oh, by the way, I'm still a ghost. I, I don't know what ghosts do. But yeah, bye. I don't have anything else to say. I'm sorry.